Hey what's going on everyone, On here and with the upcoming release of Windows 10, I thought I should share the history of Microsoft's most widely used operating system. We're gonna be taking a look at release versions from the start till the present, so let's dive straight in. Windows 1.0, also known as MS-DOS Executive, was the first operating system by Microsoft. MS-DOS was a command line based user interface and Windows 1.0 improved by displaying files and folders to your screen without the need to type a command. It also came with mouse support. Windows on the screen were movable, but no window manager existed. It was also the first operating system to come with the taskbar, which is kept even today. It was released in the 20th of November 1985. Windows 2.0 was an update to 1.0. There was a window manager and freely resizable windows, but that's all about it. It was released in November 1987. Windows 3.0 and 3.1 is where Microsoft changed a bit the user interface. Applications had categories and you could change a lot of things there. It was really easy to navigate through it. Windows 3.0 was released in May 1990. Windows 95 In this version of Windows, we noticed a drastic user interface change. Many people didn't like it at all. This was the first time when Microsoft changed the user interface dramatically. There was the familiar start menu and the taskbar. It was still based on MS-DOS. It was released in the 24th of August, 1995. Windows 98 is where things became more stable. The UI doesn't seem to be changed, but performance improvements and bug fixes were included. It was released in the 25th of June, 1998. Windows Me. ME or Millennium Edition was one of the operating systems that tried to bring Mac MS-DOS support but having newer features like Movie Maker, however the performance wasn't that good at the computers that existed at that time and had a lot of blue screens of death which caused it to be the most hated operating system. Windows ME was released in the 14th of September 2000. Windows 2000 this is the first consumer-oriented NT-based operating system. As you know, the previous versions were based on MS-DOS. This, however, was based on Microsoft's server technology called NT. There were performance improvements, new gradient support for window borders, and that time stable technology built in. It was released in the 17th of February 2000. Windows XP the world's most loved operating system that brought new features like advanced theme support, new icon set and the popular Belize desktop background, making it seem extremely modern for its time. There were problems in its launch and people didn't like it, but that faded away as newer service packs were introduced. Windows Vista, the world's second most hated operating system. Its release was complicated and new features that Microsoft promised while making the operating system were lost. It looked really modern and brought the Aero and Aero Glass UI, which is used today. It required a lot of resources and mostly newer graphics cards to run properly, but people didn't have the hardware back then. This faded out when Service Packs 1 and 2 came, but it was too late for Microsoft. Vista introduced new features such as Superfetch and DreamScene, but they never cashed on as DreamScene required you to have the Ultimate Edition of the operating system. There also was the so-called Ultimate Extras, which were extra fun things to optionally download to the operating system. Again, it required the user to have Windows Vista Ultimate. It was released in the 30th of January 2007. Windows 7 was the successor of Windows Vista. Introducing the new big icons of the taskbar, a stripped down version of Fire Glass and removed programs. Also, the removal of Ultimate Extras. Windows 7 was taking considerably less RAM and processing power to run. It's currently the most widely used version of Windows. It was released in the 22nd of July 2009. Windows 8 was the first version of Windows to use the so-called Metro or modern UI and the operating system that has mixed opinions. This was supposed to be an operating system that would look the same on each PC you installed it on and locked into your account. 
New modern applications were run in full screen mode and the start button was removed, making its user confused. Windows 8 was extremely fast and it also introduced semi-shutdown state called fast startup, where your computer would hibernate but instead be turned off, making the startup times considerably faster. It also removed air glass. Windows 8 was released in the 26th of October 2012. Windows 8.1 fixed a lot of things that were confusing for users. These included the return of the start button, new window controls for modern apps, and the power button being on the start screen. Performance-wise, it was a bit slower in some aspects, like searching from the start screen, opening certain applications, and others. However, it worked well for some machines, and not so well for others. It was released in the 12th of August, 2014. And lastly, Windows 10. While not released yet is Microsoft's latest operating system, modern applications now run in a window, Aeroglass is partially included and there are some performance improvements. New features are implemented such as Task View and Cortana. The current build as of May 2015 is 10074. So yeah, this is the history of Microsoft's most widely used operating system, Windows. If you have any questions, make sure to tell me in the comment section below. And also, if you like this video, make sure to drop a like. And I will see you in the next one.